All right, for today's project, we're going to be using the Arduino Nano, a breadboard, and a transistor. This one, I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not, is a 2N. 2222A. That is an NPN transistor. We will be using it along with a 50K potentiometer to control the speed of a simple DC motor. So let's get started. The transistor has three pins. The collector the base and the emitter and we're going to be using the transmit the transistor sort of as a switch okay current will flow from the collector out through the emitter only when there is a voltage placed on the base so the base acts kind of like a gatekeeper kind of a switch so to speak so let's plug that in. Now, we are going to run, let's bring this over here a little bit closer to our Arduino. Oopsies. Okay. From a D5, that is our output. To the base. That is where our switching output is going to come. And then the collector goes to the positive rail. And the emitter gets one of the motor wires. It's like a comedy of errors, isn't it? I'm trying to get this thing to plug in. All right, get in there. There we go. And the other motor wire goes into ground. All right, next, our potentiometer. One of the outside connections goes to ground. The center pin goes to analog zero on the Arduino. Okay, and that's where we're going to read the value. The final connection on the potentiometer goes to the po positive rail. Then from the Arduino, just so we can power up these two rails here, five volt goes into the positive and ground goes to ground. Now, when we write the sketch, to fire this up, we'll be able to control the speed of the motor by rotating the potentiometer. So let's go take a look at the sketch to control this. All right, let's take a look at the code to control a motor with the 2N2222A transistor. First, we're going to declare some variables. They're all integer variables. Pot pin. This is the analog pin that is at the center of the potentiometer. Motor pin. 
This is the pin where the PWM output is. Pot value. This is the analog read of the potentiometer. Motor speed. This is the PWM output for motor speed. Now in our setup, I put a uh, serial begin here just so that we can use the serial monitor to view uh, the pins if you like. But what we would just need is pin mode, motor pin output, pin mode, pot pin input. That's it for setup. Now down here in our main code, the first thing we're going to do is read the value of the pot pin. And that is pin A analog 0. So we say pot value equals analog read A0. Then we're just printing those values out. Now we're going to do a map here to convert the 10 bit, which is 0 to 1023, uh, input from the potentiometer into an 8 bit, that's 0 to 255 PWM output. We use the map function here. So we say motor speed equals map pot value low of 0 to low of 0 high of 123 to high or high of 1023 to high of 255 that converts those values then again we're just on a serial print and analog right motor pin motor speed that's the end of the program the transistor takes care of everything else it doesn't get much simpler than that Let's compile the code, output it, and send it to the Nano. All right, we've downloaded the sketch. Let's power it up. The Arduino is powered on. Here's our little motor. And there you can see and hear. The PWM output from pin D5 varies the amount of current that gets through the base of the 2N2222A transistor. And with that, we are able to control the speed of a DC motor. Pretty simple project, but now you have a basic understanding of how to use a transistor to switch power to a motor. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for?